What's up, everybody? I'm trying to make a boom pole for my tractor today. Something like that. Put my arms in here like this. Maybe it'll work. Come on, Gotta clean some of this junk off of it first. Safety first. Two foot length work good for my tractor. So I think I'm just going, I'm gonna end up cut both ends. It's got a bunch of holes. If I keep these holes, who knows what I'll have boat to it or whatever. So I'm just gonna mark me a center point and then cut off both ends. Not it's a bunch of extra hoobah, but I don't know. I'm, it is what it is. Leave out a sell it. Get that wiped off. pieces I cut off the ends they got a nice straight factory edge and it's got some holes already drilled I just have to drill it out a little more use these pins bolt them through it I think if I could put it there like that cut a little edge out where this actually sits down on there would be sitting in here I think it'll be pretty strong and then I can stick it on there like that weld all the way around it you know cut it cut it where it's just that much of it and maybe make me a gusset back here you gotta work. That's what we're gonna try anyway. Alright, so I got this piece cut off. Got this little notch ground out. So it's standing there pretty good. See how it sets right on there? Be good weld. Pick around on it, get it straight, but it'd be good good support, I think. So get the other side knocked out. Alright, I got it all tacked together. Got it put on the tractor. Leveled up, kinda how it should be, so I guess there ain't nothing left but to put the Put the boom pole on it, weld it. All right then, I got her halfway straight, pretty crooked piece of pipe. You look down it from this end, but I think it, I think it attacked her all right. Ah, got my 
piece here for my arm to set in. Get it tacked on now. Packed up. I got it stuck on my tractor. Bought this hook at Harbor Freight, and uh, I welded about the bolts on the back side of it. I think something like that. I think that's what we'll do. on there. I think that's straight enough. Got a few more little gussets I'm going to put on. And I'm going to take the whole thing to my dad's shop. He's got a 220 stick welder. to really burn it all in. Be a lot stronger than my little 110 flux. So. Got this thing welded up good. I added this while I was at my dad's shop with his big welder. And grinding all the rust I'm going to get off of it off. So I'm going to get to painting. I'm going to get it masked off. See in a second. Time. Got some rust oleum red. I don't think it's gloss, apple red. Just what I went through there and found. Thought hell that'll work. Here we go. Bit of light, little tacky, sticky coat. I'm out here in the heat. Down here in the southeast today, it's a hundred with a heat index of like 107. Figure this a dry good, maybe. Here we go. We're bright and red. What we want. I'll be plowed into it with my truck or something if I didn't make it bright enough to see. It's kind of boring paint it bright red. I thought maybe painting it would uh, hide some of my booger welding, but I think it made them look worse. Oh well. All right, I pulled her down here in the sun. We really bake it on there maybe for a while. Let's pull this tape off and see how she looks. Well, there it is. Turned out pretty good. Better than that old rusty crap. Maybe at least I'll see it won't run it over. Well, there you have it. And she looks pretty good. Uh, I know I could have bought one for about 200 bucks, but I kind of just like building stuff. Something about built, not bought. It's kind of cool. So, sure appreciate y'all's time. Y'all have a good one. Hey, hit that subscribe button if you ain't. Come on back. We'll do something next time. <laughs>